Hello Surveyatris. In this video, we will be talking about the geographic coordinate system. Understanding concepts such as coordinate reference systems and map projection is becoming increasingly important as drones become more common in the surveying, construction, mining and earthwork industries. Knowing how the coordinate system functions will aid in getting precise measurements. Coordinates are ordered pairs of points that help us locate any point in a 2D plane or 3D space. A coordinate system is used to express the location of a point on a plane or sphere. Locations in two-dimensional coordinate systems are organized in a grid of columns and rows. And X and Y pair of coordinates represent each grid location. The X coordinate specifies the grid's row and the Y coordinate specifies the column. A geographic coordinate system is a reference framework that defines the locations of features on an Earth model. These coordinates are based on an ellipsoid that approximates the Earth's shape, allowing us to measure distances and angles between different points of the Earth. In geographic coordinate system, Locations are defined using angular measurements, usually in decimal degrees. A geographic coordinate system is required for the data to pinpoint its location on the Earth's surface accurately. The most commonly used geographic coordinate system is the World Geodetic System 1984 or the WGS84. To represent a location in geographic coordinate system, you need the location in either degree minute seconds or decimal degrees. Let us find out the location of the Bangalore Cantonment Railway Station. Consider the location of the railway station to be 12 degree 59 minute 37.38 second north, 77 degree 35 minute 52.87 second east in geographic coordinate system. Here I am opening Google Earth to locate the coordinates. Here, the location is in degree minute second format. Next, we look on some basic concepts of geographic coordinate system. Here, we can see Horizontal lines run east-west. They are called latitudes or parallels. They form concentric circles around the earth and are equally spaced and parallel to one another. The equator is the line of latitude that cuts across the center of the earth and marks zero degree of latitude. Positive latitudes from zero to positive 90 degrees are found north of the equator, while negative latitudes from 0 to negative 90 degrees are located south of the equator. From the figure, here we can see the vertical lines run north to south. They are called longitudes or meridians. The prime meridian is the line of longitude that is at 0 degrees and runs from the north pole to the south pole. For most geographic coordinate systems, the prime meridian is the longitude that passes through Greenwich, England. Positive longitudes from 0 to positive 90 degrees are found east of the prime meridian, while negative longitudes from 0 to negative 90 degrees are located west of the prime meridian. The grid light network of latitude and longitude lines encircles the entire globe and is called the graticule. The equator and prime meridian intersection define the origin of the graticule. The earth is shaped like a flattened sphere. This shape is called an ellipsoid. A datum is a model of the earth that is used in mapping. It defines the origin and orientation of latitude and longitude lines. A datum is chosen to give the best possible fit to the true shape of the earth. 
there are a large number of datums in use. WG84 is an example of a datum that is used globally. Whenever you change the datum or the geographic coordinate system, the coordinate values of your data will change. Now, let us take a quick recap. First, we talked about what a geographic coordinate system is and how to locate a point on geographic coordinate system. Then, we discussed on the basic concepts of geographic coordinate system and finally the datum. In the next video, we will talk about the projected coordinate system. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Those who are watching this video for the first time, please like and subscribe. We will be adding more videos weekly. Click on the bell icon so that you won't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you for watching the video.